Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Eve Discover the hidden history of Eve, the first woman, with 10 fascinating facts that will surprise you. Beyond the forbidden fruit, there's a world of meanings, symbolism, and a legacy that has shaped humanity. From her creation to her eternal impact, get ready to explore the secrets of Eve like never before. Number 10. Significant Name The name, Eve, echoing through the ages as an echo of life and creation, is more than a simple set of letters. In the Hebrew context, Eve, Chava, is a name loaded with meaning, literally translating as life or life giver. This designation is not merely symbolic, but embodies the essence of her role within the biblical narrative, positioning her as the mother of all humanity. It's interesting to reflect on how this name reflects the perception and significance of Eve in Judeo-Christian traditions, where she is not only recognized as the first woman but also as a transcendental figure in the origin and perpetuation of human life. The cultural and religious context in which Eve emerges as a central figure is rich and diverse. Within these traditions, her name and story have become powerful symbols of fertility, birth, and renewal. Assigning such meaning to a single name demonstrates the depth of the connection between identity and destiny in sacred texts. Through the centuries, the name of Eve has inspired a multitude of artistic, literary, and theological interpretations, each exploring different facets of her legacy as a life-giver. The choice to name her, Eve, also establishes a framework for the biblical understanding of the relationship between gender, creation, and divinity. This name symbolizes not only the direct connection to the creation of life but also the intricate relationship between humanity and God, highlighting the role of women in this sacred process. Through Eve, the concept of motherhood as an essential life force is introduced, not only in the biological sense but also in the transmission of culture, faith, and values across generations. Beyond its biblical context, the name of Eve has transcended cultures, transforming into a universal archetype of femininity and the source of life. In various cultures around the world, echoes of Eve are found in myths and legends that celebrate the creative power of women. The universality of the name and what it represents emphasizes the shared human connection to origins, life, and the intrinsic purpose of our existence. Eve's story, deeply marked by her name, continues to inspire generations, serving as a perpetual reminder of our shared beginning and the vital essence we all carry. Number 9. Unique Creation the narrative of Eve's creation in the book of Genesis is unique and deeply symbolic, distinguishing her from all other creatures made by God. According to the biblical account, while Adam was in a deep sleep, God took one of his ribs and created Eve, the first woman. This method of creation is not only singular but also establishes an indissoluble bond between man and woman, symbolizing an intrinsic unity and connection that goes beyond the physical to reach the spiritual and emotional. This divine act of creation from a rib, instead of using the dust of the earth or the divine word as with other forms of life, carries several layers of meaning. On one hand, it emphasizes the equality and complementarity between genders, countering any interpretation that suggests an inherent hierarchy or subordination. The choice of the rib, located near the heart and protected by the chest, can be interpreted as a symbol of the caring, love, and mutual protection that should exist between life partners. Furthermore, this method of creation highlights the idea that men and women are, in essence, of the same substance, sharing not only a common origin but also a shared destiny. In the broader context of creation narratives found in different cultures, Eve's story stands out for this intimate act of formation, setting a precedent for notions of kinship, identity, and belonging. The creation of Eve has also been the subject of interpretation and debate throughout the centuries, especially in terms of its impact on theological and philosophical discussions about the nature of the relationship between men and women. Some see in this story a call to fundamental equality and mutual respect, while others have interpreted the creation sequence as indicative of divinely ordered roles or priorities. Beyond its theological significance, 
The narrative of Eve's creation has inspired countless works of art, literature, and music, each exploring different dimensions of this foundational moment. From classical depictions to contemporary interpretations, the story of how Eve was formed from Adam continues to fascinate and challenge artists, writers, and thinkers to reflect on the mysteries of life, love, and human connection. This uniqueness in Eve's creation not only defines her identity within the biblical narrative but also establishes a model for understanding the complexity and depth of human relationships. Through this act of creation, we are invited to contemplate the ties that bind us, not only as individuals but as members of a broader human community, interwoven with threads of interdependence, love, and shared responsibility. Number 8. The Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, home to Eve and Adam, is described in Genesis as a terrestrial paradise of unparalleled beauty and abundance. This place, designed by divinity as a dwelling for the first humans, symbolizes a state of existence in which harmony, innocence, and fullness were the norm. The garden was filled with fruit trees, rivers, and all kinds of plants and animals, offering Adam and Eve everything they needed for a fulfilling and carefree life. Within this context, life in Eden represents not only a physical state of well-being and abundance but also a spiritual condition of closeness and direct communion with God. This idyllic setting, however, was also the stage for a test of obedience. In the middle of the garden stood the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, whose fruit was forbidden to Adam and Eve. This element introduces a crucial theme in many religious and philosophical traditions, free will. The existence of the tree and its forbidden fruit raise fundamental questions about the nature of choice, knowledge, and the consequences of our actions. The description of Eden and its significance transcend the biblical text, influencing concepts of utopia and perfect places throughout human history. The Garden of Eden has served as a model for numerous depictions of lost paradises and has inspired philosophers, theologians, and artists to imagine ideal worlds where peace and harmony reign. Moreover, life in Eden before the fall symbolizes a golden age of purity and unity with creation, a state that many spiritual traditions seek to recover or emulate. The expulsion of Adam and Eve from the Garden, therefore, marks not only the end of their innocence but also the beginning of the human experience of suffering, labor, and mortality. The narrative of the Garden of Eden continues to resonate in contemporary culture, reflected in debates about sustainability, environmental ethics, and the search for balance with nature. This tale invites reflection on our own, lost utopias, and how our environments and decisions shape the quality of our existence and relationships. Through the centuries, Eden has remained a powerful symbol of what has been lost and what could be recovered or reconstructed, inspiring hope in the possibility of restoring some degree of that original harmony in our lives and our world. Number 7. The Serpent and the Temptation Eve's interaction with the serpent in the Garden of Eden is one of the most iconic and symbolically charged episodes in the biblical narrative. According to the book of Genesis, the serpent, described as the most cunning of all the wild animals that God had made, approaches Eve and incites her to question the divine prohibition of eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The serpent promises Eve that, by eating the fruit, their eyes will be opened, and they will be like gods, knowing good and evil. This encounter introduces several fundamental themes that have intrigued theologians, philosophers, and artists throughout the centuries. On one hand, it represents the introduction of deceit and lies into the world, marking the beginning of the struggle between good and evil. The serpent, in this context, is not just an animal but a symbol of temptation, the seduction toward the forbidden, and the moral choice that humans face. The temptation of Eve and her decision to eat the forbidden fruit, followed by Adam's participation in the act, is seen as the defining moment of original sin, a theological concept that has had a profound influence on the understanding of human nature and its relationship with the divine. This narrative underscores human vulnerability to temptation and the inherent complexity of free choice. Throughout history, the figure of the serpent has been interpreted in various ways, 
from a literal representation of a deceitful being to more complex symbolisms associated with wisdom, renewal, and change, given the serpent's nature to shed its skin. In the Christian tradition, the serpent has often been associated with Satan, personifying evil and opposition to divine will. The episode of Temptation in Eden has inspired a vast range of artistic and literary representations, from Renaissance paintings to modern adaptations in film and literature. These works often explore the complexities of the moral dilemma faced by Eve, the nature of temptation, and the consequences of our choices. The legacy of this tale goes beyond its religious context, influencing the way Western culture has conceptualized morality, freedom, and responsibility. The story of Eve, the serpent, and the temptation continues to be a point of reflection on the human condition, offering insights into the internal struggle between desire and obedience, innocence and knowledge, and ultimately, redemption and fall. Number 6. The Forbidden Fruit Eve's decision to eat the forbidden fruit, followed by her act of sharing it with Adam, constitutes one of the most pivotal moments in the biblical narrative, symbolizing the onset of original sin. This act of disobedience towards a divine directive marks not only humanity's initial transgression but also the moment when the knowledge of good and evil became present in human consciousness. The exact nature of this fruit has been the subject of speculation and symbolism throughout the centuries, with interpretations ranging from an apple, commonly depicted in art and literature, to more abstract figures representing temptation and forbidden knowledge. This momentous event has been interpreted in multiple ways, offering a rich source of analysis about the nature of temptation, freedom, and the consequences of our actions. At the heart of this story lies the concept of free will and the capacity to choose, highlighting individual responsibility in the face of prohibitions and commands. The act of eating the forbidden fruit symbolizes a break from innocence and a transition to an existence marked by the knowledge of moral duality, a universal theme in narratives about growth and maturity. The repercussions of this act are immense, affecting not only Eve and Adam but also all their descendants, introducing the concept of original sin into Christian doctrine. This concept suggests that all human beings are born with a stain of sin, a legacy of the initial disobedience that can only be redeemed through divine grace. The story of the forbidden fruit has profoundly influenced notions of morality, ethics, and redemption in Western culture, providing a framework for understanding the complexity of human nature and the constant struggle between good and evil. Throughout history, artists, writers, and thinkers have explored this decisive moment from various angles, creating works that reflect the tensions between law and freedom, desire and restraint. The representations of the act of eating the forbidden fruit vary from tragedy to celebration of awakening and autonomy, offering a spectrum of interpretations on the significance of this event. This foundational episode not only questions obedience and authority but also invites reflection on the value of knowledge and the implications of our choices. The story of Eve, the forbidden fruit, and the consequences that followed is an eternal reminder of the moral and existential dilemmas we face as human beings, urging us to consider how our decisions not only define our character but also have the power to shape our destiny and the world around us. Number 5. Consequences of the Act Eve and Adam's disobedience in consuming the forbidden fruit had devastating consequences according to the biblical narrative, marking a before and after in human experience. As a direct result of their action, both were expelled from the Garden of Eden, an act that symbolizes the loss of innocence and the entrance into a world where mortality, suffering, and labor are inevitable. This moment of transition not only altered the existence of the first humans but also established the fundamental conditions of human life as we know it. The expulsion from paradise brought with it the introduction of death and mortality into the human world, a consequence that affects all of Adam and Eve's descendants. Additionally, they were imposed with labor as a means of subsistence, marking the beginning of the human struggle with the earth to extract sustenance. These conditions represent a dramatic break from the idyllic life of Eden, where abundance and peace reigned. Now, 
human existence is characterized by effort, pain, and transience. This narrative also introduces the concept of punishment and reward, fundamental to many religious and philosophical traditions. The story of the expulsion from Eden underscores the idea that actions have consequences, both in the spiritual and material realms, and that disobedience to the divine carries severe repercussions. However, this tale also opens the door to redemption and hope, pointing towards the possibility of overcoming the fall through faith, repentance, and divine grace. The consequences of this primal act have been interpreted in various ways throughout history, serving as a powerful metaphor for the human condition. The story of Adam and Eve and their expulsion from Eden has become a recurring theme in art, literature, and theology, exploring the complexities of sin, responsibility, and the search for meaning in the face of adversity. This biblical narrative, moreover, has influenced the way societies conceptualize law, justice, and morality. The idea that certain actions lead to negative consequences, both for the individual and the community, is a principle at the heart of legal and ethical systems. At the same time, the narrative offers reflection on human resilience and our capacity to face and adapt to fundamental changes in our existence. The story of the expulsion from Eden, with all its theological and existential implications, continues to resonate in the collective consciousness, inviting us to consider the repercussions of our choices and the ceaseless search for redemption and understanding in a world marked by imperfection and challenge. Number 4. Mother of All Humanity Eve recognized in Judeo-Christian traditions as the first woman and mother of all humanity, occupies a central place in human genealogy. Alongside Adam, she bore several children, among whom Cain, Abel, and Seth stand out. Through them, the genealogical lines that gave rise to the different tribes and peoples mentioned in the scriptures were established. This direct connection of Eve to the beginning of humanity underscores her fundamental role not only in biological terms but also in the cultural and spiritual legacy that would be transmitted through generations. The figure of Eve as a mother transcends mere reproductive function, symbolizing the source of life and the beginning of a complex web of human relationships. Through her, themes of motherhood, family, and the continuity of life despite adversities are introduced. Each of her children represents different aspects of the human experience, from brotherhood and conflict to redemption and the hope of continuity. In addition to her genealogical role, Eve represents the archetypal maternal figure, embodying aspects of care and nurture as well as the complexity and challenge that motherhood entails. Her story is a source of inspiration for reflections on the meaning of family, the transmission of values, and the influence of mothers in shaping society. The narratives surrounding Eve and her descendants also address profound themes such as favoritism, sacrifice, envy, and reconciliation, reflecting the complex dynamics that can arise within families. Through the stories of Cain and Abel, for example, the painful theme of fratricide is explored, offering an early insight into the violence and redemption that would mark the course of human history. Eve's motherhood and her role in the biblical genealogy have been interpreted and reimagined throughout the centuries in various cultures and traditions, highlighting her enduring impact on our understanding of identity, heritage, and the connection between generations. Through her, we are reminded of the depth of our common bonds and the shared responsibility to nurture and guide future generations. Eve, as the mother of all humanity, not only symbolizes the beginning of human history but also the hope and possibility inherent in every life. Her legacy, imbued with challenges, mistakes, and redemption, offers a mirror in which we can contemplate our own lives and the ways we are interconnected with the vast fabric of human existence. This perception of Eve as a bridge between the past and the present emphasizes the ongoing impact of her actions and decisions in the broader narrative of humanity reminding us of the importance of maternal figures in shaping our world. Number 3. Representations in Art The figure of Eve has been an inexhaustible source of inspiration for art throughout history. 
From the earliest depictions in frescoes and illuminated manuscripts to contemporary works in a variety of media, Eve has been portrayed in ways that reflect the complexities of her story and her multifaceted role as a symbol of life, temptation, sin, and redemption. In the Renaissance, artists like Dürer and Michelangelo depicted Eve in scenes of Eden, emphasizing both her beauty and her central role in the narrative of original sin. These works often highlight the moment of temptation or the subsequent expulsion from paradise, exploring themes of innocence, desire, and the consequences of disobedience. Beyond painting and sculpture, Eve has been a recurring theme in literature, where her story has been reinterpreted in poems, plays, and narratives that explore everything from her psychological perspective to her impact on gender dynamics and society. These literary interpretations have provided additional depth to her character, offering new insights into her motivations, dilemmas, and her perpetual legacy in human consciousness. In the modern and contemporary era, the representation of Eve has evolved to address issues of identity, autonomy, and the reclamation of the female figure against traditional narratives. Artists and writers have used Eve's story to question and challenge established perceptions of sin, morality, and the role of women in history and religion. Through these works, Eve emerges not just as a biblical figure but also as a symbol of the female struggle for voice and recognition in a world dominated by patriarchal structures. The representations of Eve in art have also served as a mirror of the cultural norms and values of the times in which they were created. Each era has projected its own concerns, ideals, and conflicts onto the figure of Eve, making her a mutable symbol that reflects the tensions and transformations of society. From the ideal of beauty and purity to the embodiment of wisdom and resistance, Eve has been reinterpreted in ways that transcend her biblical origin to speak directly to universal human experiences. This rich artistic and literary tradition surrounding Eve not only demonstrates the enduring fascination with her story but also the ability of art to explore and expand the meanings inherent in ancient narratives. Through these representations, Eve continues to engage with current generations, inviting us to reflect on our own stories, beliefs, and the continual reimagining of our collective past. Number 2. Symbolism. Eve, as a biblical figure, transcends her narrative role to become a rich and multifaceted symbol within the Judeo-Christian tradition and beyond. Her story is interwoven with themes of temptation, sin, wisdom, life, and the feminine principle, each contributing depth to her meaning over the centuries. Through Eve, the complexities of the human condition are explored, including the internal struggle between obedience and the pursuit of knowledge, as well as the consequences of our choices. The temptation of Eve by the serpent and her decision to eat the forbidden fruit have been interpreted as the defining moment of human consciousness and autonomy. This act introduces the knowledge of good and evil, a fundamental step towards human understanding of morality and ethics. In this sense, Eve symbolizes the awakening to a conscious existence, marked by the freedom of choice and the moral responsibility that accompanies that power. Simultaneously, Eve represents the feminine principle, often associated with life, fertility, and nurture. As the mother of all living, her figure becomes an archetype of motherhood and creation, emphasizing her essential role in the origin and sustenance of human life. This duality of Eve, as a bearer of life and knowledge, reflects the complexity of female roles throughout history and in cultural narratives. Throughout the centuries, Eve has also been seen as a figure of redemption. Despite her role in introducing sin into the world, her story does not end with the fall. Later theological traditions have interpreted the promise of salvation and redemption, through Eve's offspring, as a sign of hope and restoration. In this framework, Eve becomes a symbol of the possibility of overcoming and reconciliation, not just for herself but for all humanity. The interpretation and reimagining of Eve in various cultures and eras have enriched her symbolism, adapting her legacy to new understandings and contexts. Eve emerges as a figure that embodies the tensions between innocence and knowledge, submission and autonomy, fall and redemption. 
Her story is a testament to the ceaseless human quest to understand our place in the universe, confronting the depths of our moral and spiritual nature. This intertwining of symbolism around Eve not only reflects the diversity of interpretations and meanings that a single figure can hold but also the capacity of biblical narratives to engage with universal issues of human experience. Through Eve, generations of believers and thinkers are invited to contemplate the mysteries of life, knowledge, and the human condition, providing a space for reflection on our origins, our mistakes, and our potential for growth and transformation. Number 1. Enduring Legacy The tale of Eve, from her creation to her life in the Garden of Eden, her encounter with the serpent, and the consequences that followed, has left a profound and lasting legacy that permeates not just religion and philosophy but also culture, art, and society as a whole. The story of Eve resonates through the centuries as a powerful reminder of the complexity of human nature, our struggles with temptation, morality, and the relentless pursuit of wisdom. This legacy manifests in the way social, moral, and gender norms have been influenced and shaped by the narrative of Eve. She has served as a lens through which fundamental concepts about good and evil, innocence and guilt, as well as the role of women in society, have been explored and debated. The figure of Eve has been both revered and vilified, used to argue everything from the supremacy of virtue and obedience to the vindication of equality and the right to autonomy and knowledge. Furthermore, Eve's story continues to be a source of inspiration for reflections on the human condition, the meaning of freedom, and the responsibilities it entails. Her legacy extends beyond religious interpretations, reaching into ethical and philosophical debates about the nature of human choice, knowledge, and the consequences of our actions. In art, literature, and popular culture, Eve is an omnipresent figure, symbolizing various aspects of human experience and the desire for understanding and connection. Through the diverse representations of her story, audiences and readers are invited to contemplate the moral and spiritual dilemmas we face, reflecting our own concerns, desires, and fears. Eve's legacy also lies in the ongoing search for meaning and purpose in a complex and often confusing world. Her story is a reminder of our vulnerability to temptation and error, but also of our capacity for repentance, learning, and the hope of redemption. In this sense, Eve not only belongs to the past, she lives in the fundamental questions we continue to ask ourselves about who we are, where we come from, and how we should live. Thus, the enduring legacy of Eve in the Judeo-Christian tradition and in the collective imagination underscores the eternal relevance of her story for the exploration of our own identity and destiny. Through her, we are invited to reflect on the richness and complexity of human life, recognizing in her narrative echoes of our own experiences, struggles, and aspirations. Eve, as a central figure in the history of humanity, continues to illuminate the path towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the fabric of existence.